This week, we're working with arrays. Arrays are very powerful ways of controlling variables in programming. It can be a little confusing to work with them at first. Alice isn't exactly the same as some other programming languages, but I want to give you an idea generically of how arrays work in programming. An array is a logical grouping of variables. The important thing is that all of the variables in an array have to be of the same type of data. In other words, you can't have an array that holds strings and doubles and ints. When you declare an array in a normal programming language, you will typically tell the program what kind of data you're going to store. I'm going to store an array of integers. I'm going to store an array of doubles. You can also store an array of objects. And typically in Alice, we are actually working with an array of objects. In this week's example, we're doing the song Three Blind Mice, and we have an array of three mice objects for the song Three Blind Mice. When you are accessing a particular variable in an array, it's accessed by its index number. I'd like you to look at this example of how an array is stored. When I try to get people to visualize and make an array make sense to them. My favorite example is to think of a post office. If you've ever walked into a post office and seen all the post office boxes lined up along the wall, they are sorted numerically. They each have a number on them so that you can uniquely identify if your personal mailbox was number 312, you would locate your mail by going to that index, that number, that assigned number for your post office box. And like an array, all you would put in that box would be mail. Now, you wouldn't go to your post office box to get a cheeseburger because that is not what's stored in a post office box. In a post office box, it only stores mail. It might be empty, but if there's anything in there, it will be mail. An array is like that. You can have a very large set of variables. We're typically working with small ones in Alice, but it can be very large. A couple things to keep in mind. You typically will declare how big your array is going to be before you ever start using it. Again, like your post office, they can't suddenly create more post office boxes just because they have a new client. The element is what you have inside of your array. So that's your variable. Your variable is in your element in the array. That's your post office box. That's your element. The number on the box is your index. Almost all programming languages start counting the index at zero. So if you were going to have 10 array spots, they wouldn't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You get all 10, but you typically, in most programming languages, start counting at zero. The only ex exception to that that I can think of is COBOL. So the number that you use to identify your variable is called the index. The spot holding your variable is the element. You'll note here, in this example, we have six elements, first through six, but they're numbered zero through five. As I said before, when you declare your array, there's typically two ways to declare it. You either declare it by telling your program, I'm going to have an array of integers, and it's going to hold 73 values. You can spe specify how large it's going to be, you can actually use a variable to specify how large it's going to be because you specify it before you save those spots in memory. So if you were going to, say, get 30 scores from a user to average basketball scores across a season and you knew there were going to be 30 games, you could, when you ran the program, ask the user how many games in this season and then you could create the, uh, the array based on their response. In some languages, they have something very similar to an array, and they frequently will have both, called a vector. 
primary difference between an array and a vector is an, a vector can grow. You can add things to the end of it. An array can't grow in most languages. It has predefined at runtime when you create the program. You will, you will set, use either a variable or a, a number that you've assigned to set the size of the array. So that's some basics on the array and it's a way to work with a lot of data at one time.